Scott Brown had argued that the health care reform in its most recent um, form was bad for the people of Massachusetts. Do you believe that that most recent form was bad for the people of Connecticut? Uh, look, I, I, in the Senate, I, I voted for the bill ultimately when some of the things that I thought would be bad for the people of Connecticut to create a new government insurance company, which I, I'm sure would have increased the debt. There was a thought at one point about expanding Medicare when we're having enough trouble uh, paying for the Medicare that people have, which is so important uh, uh, to them. So um, I, overall, obviously, I vo since I voted for it in the end, after the changes were made that I was trying for, I thought it was good enough for the people of Connecticut. Um, I, I would say here's the problem. Now, on every public opinion poll you look at, and clearly this is what the voters in Massachusetts were saying, a majority of people in our country said if this health care reform bill passes, I will end up paying more for health insurance and I'll get lower quality health care. Well, no wonder uh, they sent a message from Massachusetts to Washington that they want the current direction in which we were going to stop. And here we are talking at the end of the week, just a few days after Massachusetts occurred. And right now, um, people in Washington, Democratic leadership are saying there's not the votes in either chamber to move ahead with the health care reform bill as it was. So I think it does say that um, even when there's a lot of emotion, a lot of ideological uh, passion, that uh, ultimately people in Washington will listen to the voters. And that's, that's what happened post-election. It was a, a transformational election. 